What is up guys, welcome back to Punoi Bounce and on this Top Shot segment, I got my boy here all the way from what, Tampa, Florida. He goes by the name of Buck Duckets. I call him my boy Danny Duckets. How you doing, bro? <laughs> What's up, man? What's going on? Glad awesome. to be here, man. Hey, man, <laughs> thanks for taking your time to come, come through live on a virtual hangout with me. Talked about Top Shots because this is one of my favorite topics in my segments where we go through collection and we go through kind of how we came about and discovered Top Shot. So um, tell us, tell me a little bit, how did you discover Top Shot? And um, like a little bit of story about it with you. Yeah, um, it's funny because, uh, you know, well, I love basketball. Basketball to me is, uh, it's life, man. I've, I've been a fan for so long since I was a little kid. Um, and, you know, one day I was yeah. just kind of scrolling through the news and I heard about some, some, video clip of LeBron James selling for about a quarter of a million dollars or something like that. And, you know, as I'm going through this article, I'm like, man, this, you know, what, what, what is this? What is, you know, I have no clue what they're talking about. And I they really didn't know too much about NFTs, but I was heavy in the crypto, um, into crypto. So I said, yeah, let me, let, let me check it out. So I went to the website and I was like, okay, this looks really cool. Uh, signed up and man from there was just an addiction i saw these moments um i was scrolling through trying to find all the nets moments and it just started from there man the addiction was was uh was real <laughs> oh man it feels like majority yeah. of the people that i've met have either seen the clip of lebron James selling for like two hundred fifty thousand dollars, or like just the fact that oh somebody tweeted about it and then like that's kind of where the, in the influx came in i mean what was your first thought of it when you kind of went through the site? I mean, we have it right here. I know it doesn't look the same as how, probably a little bit the same as how it looked. What was your first impression yeah. of it when you kind of went through it, take a look at the site, looked at some of the uh, moments that's in it? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was really cool. It's really intuitive. I mean, you can kind of just scroll through the website and find anything you need to find, uh, you know, right away. So, um, I, you know, I love the site, man. It was set up nice. Um, you know, like you said, it is a lot. It's actually a lot different. It kind of looks the same, but there's so many new cool features in there um, that we didn't have before. Uh, but, you know, my first initial thought about the uh, site was was great, man. I thought it was cool. Um, like I said, stuff was easy to find. Um, and, you know, uh, back then, um, you know, we didn't have, you know, any of the new features like the collector score or anything like that. So it was just like, click, 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 click. <laughs> All of a sudden you have like yeah. 10 moments and you spent like a hundred bucks. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, um, it, it's a really, it, it's, it's exciting, man. You know, it, and it was exciting for me when I went to the site and, and started looking through what they had and I, and, you know, it just started from there. Awesome. Um, in, in the beginning, what was the, I don't know if you remember, Talk to me to what it's like in the beginning when we all started through it. Like when around that time, when did you started? What was kind of like the notion was like with how did you kind of went and discovered it? I don't know if, uh, if you discovered it to Twitter. How did it came about with you and discovering Top Shot with the Twitter community? Because probably one of the tightest, like biggest community in Twitter that I've seen. So that's why that's how I kind of came and discovered and we met. Right. So how did it came about with you in the story? How Top Shot connected with you in Twitter? It's funny. Um, I was, I had a Twitter account, right? I've yeah. never used it. I was never into social media, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> never. Yeah. Never went on. I used, I used to go on Twitter just to kind of look at, you know, st news, you know, find, you know, stuff, albums that came out, things like that. Um, I had like five followers uh, on Twitter at the time. And this, this was March, by the way. Um, and it was actually Top Shot that introduced me really to Twitter and the community. And like you said, you know, the community is, it's just amazing, man. And, you know, everybody is just so helpful and it's, it's, you know, it's, it's really incredible, believe it or not. You know, I, I know, you know, you're on it and, and just the people on there, man, they just, they draw you to look for more, right? To look for more on the site, to look at different, mo look at moments in a different way. Like, you know, you'll look at a moment and say, oh, this is a cool moment. But all of a sudden, somebody in the community will say, oh, he did this and has in this certain type of way. And now you're going back to the moment and you're like, oh my God, oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. And all of a sudden, it's a really cool moment. So 
you know, the tw- the Twitter Twitter is um, it, it, like I said, it's really incredible how the both um, like both of them just really interact with each other very well and just brings pe- more people together and makes Top Shot a lot more exciting. Um, no, I told you. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it, it's, it's incredible, man. The community is awesome. Yeah, no, I, I feel with you. And that's probably what I never had Twitter for like ever since. I've had like a Twitter maybe started it, but never actually used it until I came to Top Shot. So, so it was kind of an interesting. We kind of came about it the same way how Twitter kind of just blew up for me because of the fact that, hey, there's a way for me to connect with people that are actually like and, and are, are in the same platform and are, uh, you know, lo- in love with basketball and I guess crypto and NFT, which brings, you know, what Top Shop brings together, right? Talk to me a little bit about, I guess, you know, since we all, we both started basically around the March area, what were some of your favorite features yeah. that they have kind of improved or added on versus what we originally had? So for people that are new to Top Shot or people that have looked into it and not really familiar with how to go about it, what are some of the things that they've done now that have improved the site significantly or just the overall experience as an NFT or a TS Top Shot collector? I mean, uh, well, uh, one of the big ones, obviously, is, the, you know, the collector score. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I think the, and people have different views on it, but, you know, I think the collector score is great. Um, mm-hmm. I think that it really improves, um, it improves the experience in a way where you just, it kind of helps with, you know, like these launches, these drops, um, and this collector score, you know, it, it, it helps with the scarcity and, you know, the ability to, you know, have access to things where, you know, others don't. Um, and for example, you know, you need a 8,000, you know, 8,000 collector score in order for you to join this drop or, and it just makes it, you know, better in the marketplace, you know, as far as, uh, you know, cost and scarcity and things like that. Um, so, you know, the collector score is great. That's new. I love it. Um, you know, another, another feature that we didn't have before was the player commentary on some of the feeds on some of the moments. Um, I think it just, it's incredible. I think it makes the uh, moments more exciting. Um, and it gives you more insight on what's going on. And I think it really gives value to the moments. And I think Top Shot should definitely, you know, um, uh, do more player commentaries. I think it's great. Um, and, uh, you know, that's another one that I really love. Uh, you know, I don't know how you feel about the player commentary because some people have different views on it. You know what yeah, I mean? It's like, awesome. Some like people I actually have, pulled one yeah. out so they can see what that is. Like, so the first very yeah. first one that, that was ever done was Mike Conley's, right? So this is one where he, it was his moment and he talked through how he felt that in that moment, what was some of his mm-hmm. kind of thinking when he was playing at this mo- exact moment, what was he thinking, how did he went about his mm-hmm. move. So it's, it's almost like a digital mm-hmm. signature. So this is one of the very first Absolutely. one that was ever um, made and done. And it was to Mike Conley. I actually have one of them. So it actually held its value quite a while. Like I got it. When he was sixty dollars, so I'm surprised mm-hmm. that it's like yeah. fifty three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I you remember it way no. early. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? Like back, man. Uh, you know, that moment back in March was oh, man. I can't remember like exactly how much it was, but it was like in the hundred. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> um, and now you know it's it's a little bit more affordable. Yeah, uh, but you know, um, yeah, man, those player commentaries they're awesome, and I think Top Shot should definitely uh, look into you know adding more uh moment uh more moments with those player commentaries i think it's great i think it's it's just i think it definitely brings more value to the moment Absolutely. exactly yeah i'm excited to see more of it um well that's that's all we got for the first segment but we still have the second segment where we go through in-depth collections so we got some you know i want to <laughs> see your collections because everybody you know hey i know you i know what a big fan you are of a certain yeah, team yeah. so now we get to see some of your favorite moments that you have collected so far and we'll only look cool. through it and see right for our audiences and followers out that they can see what those moments are why you chose them why you like them so much and see the significance and value of it for a certain collector of a team like you are right yeah let's do it let's do it man you know i actually had a, you know now i have a you know about 300 and some moments i had a lot more and yeah. i got rid of uh probably i don't know about a hundred or so in giveaways yeah plus what i've no, sold that's awesome. so yeah <laughs> that's it's a little, one of the things it's that a little like, low right now <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the things that we like we uh kind of you know you approached me about it and that's kind of how we got closer right you said hey i'm yeah, doing this yeah. giveaway and ever since then you've been kind of going about it one after another 
And like one of the things that got me closer to you and like I resonated with you, the fact that you're always giving back into the community and that's how what helped it grew. And I think that's how I kind of went into Twitter more because of the fact that when I started, everyone was doing giveaways of talk shop moments that I liked. I'm like, hey, that's a good chance mm-hmm. for me. So then a lot of people followed me because I was doing every giveaway going at, at it. And then they followed me yeah. to find out which giveaway to enter. And they didn't realize yeah. all of a sudden they have like a thousand <laughs> followers now. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> strictly following because they see where giveaway I enter and then they just go and kind of like yeah. piggyback me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, you're, you were like, man, if you're in there, if you tag me, I'm on it, man. I'm always, yeah. I'm following you big time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you always find a good one. You always find exactly. a good one. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about inner depth of Top Shot collections of Duck and Danny Duckets. So stay tuned, guys. <laughs> 